All right, hello. Welcome to your weekly video announcement. I just wanted to check in um, and highlight some of the things that you found in week 11 and then um, what you've got going on in week 12. So um, real quick over here on the left hand side in your learning modules, you probably noticed in week 11 as you're working through chapter 16 with the omnivores dilemma um, first. I wanted to just remind you that we still do have a couple more weeks before the end of the semester. So if you are interested in some campus garden weeding extra credit opportunities, you're more than welcome to come out and um, uh, say hi and pull some weeds with us and earn some extra credit. So this is a picture of Hudson. He's one of the students here in your quid class. And so we got to harvest some radishes when he came out to help us out. So the only thing that I want to highlight in week 11 is your um, signature assignment recipe idea wiki. So you'll notice when you come out here, there is a wiki that's been started. A lot of you have come in here and started to contribute your three recipes that you're thinking about putting together for your signature assignment. The only thing I want to say with this is this doesn't mean that you are submitting your recipe cards now. This is really just a, an opportunity for you to start thinking about what three recipes you will be doing um, so, that it went, so that when it does come time to complete your recipe cards, you already kind of have that head start of what three recipes you're planning on contributing. So don't feel like right now you need to complete these recipe cards. Just know that this really is an opportunity for you to start get those starting to get those creative juices flowing um, so that you are ready when the time comes to start building that recipe card. Um, the thing that I want to highlight in week 12 is we will start talking. So this module opens um, tonight after your week 11 stuff is due and week 12 is due um, this Saturday by 11.59 p.m. This is where we get into this idea of the ethics around eating animals. Um, and as you've heard me say several, several times, we really, especially those of us that are meat eaters, if we don't grow our own or if we don't go out and hunt, um, we really have removed ourselves from where our meat comes from and really this idea of the process. So um, I was really pleased to see a lot of you talk about that when you were talking in your discussion boards around um, consuming domesticated animals versus wild animals and really this idea that we have removed ourselves from the process that it takes for our animals to get to the plate. And really this idea that um, we don't even call pig pig at the grocery store, right? We call it pork or a pork chop or bake, like the cuts of meat. We don't actually identify it with the actual animal. So it is kind of interesting to think about. Um, one of my favorite concepts of this book is really the very first question of your discussion board, which talks about this idea that um, half the dogs in America receive a Christmas present, but when we sit down at the dinner table, we eat a ham. And ham coming from a pig, intellectually, pigs and dogs are very similar. So here in the United States, for whatever reason, we have elevated the dog to this level that they get a Christmas present, but the pig is at a level where we butcher it and we consume it as our Christmas meal. And so it's really kind of an interesting concept if you, if you really think about it. And again, this is really just um, reiterating this idea of where our meat comes from and engaging in that process, especially if we are meat eaters. You are gonna watch a video from Temple Grandin. She is an animal science professor at Colorado State University. And she's actually done a lot of research around animal behavior and has actually led to um, mass change within slaughterhouses. Um, she did a lot of research on when an animal comes into a slaughterhouse, the um, thought of there may be some emotion. They, the way that the animal house, the slaughterhouse is structured, um, really trying to just calm the animal before the process. And so she's actually led to a lot of change. And so again, this is that, that process. So when we talked about steer 451, we talked about his life up till slaughter. We didn't actually get to that point where they unload him from the trailer and he runs through a packaging plant and is slaughtered and then moved into a grocery store. So I do give you a little disclaimer here. 
And again, if you are a meat eater, this is part of the process. So I know it probably seems a little graphic or disturbing, but um, it is part of the process. And with this, your quid outcome really has to do around this idea of being able to formulate an opinion based on facts and then being able to articulate that opinion with your peers and then have a healthy debate or conversation about that specific opinion. So it seems like a great time when we're talking about the ethical treatment of animals to do this debate in small groups about whether or not you are in favor or opposition of the ethical treatment of animals. So you'll notice that I have split you into groups. So you'll see your groups are listed here. So you're gonna find your group and then you're gonna find the stance that you've been, um, you've been <laughs> basically told that this is the stance that you're going to defend. So you may not agree with this and this is part of the process. I think it's always really good to explore multiple sides of an issue, whether or not you agree or disagree. I think it helps solidify an opinion if you already had one or it helps you formulate an opinion as you're working through that process to be um, presented with both sides of an issue. So if you have a green F next to your name, that means that you are in favor of the ethical treatment of animals. A lot of times that usually means that you're either in favor of um, uh, like humane slaughtering or you're so much in favor that maybe you've chosen the stance that you're no longer wanting to consume meat. So you've become vegetarian or vegan because the ethical treatment of animals matters so much to you. If you've been assigned a red O, that means you're in opposition of the ethical treatment of animals. You basically have this opinion that animals were placed here for your purpose um, and your purpose alone. And so it doesn't matter how we raise them, how we slaughter them. The end result is the same, a juicy steak on my grill, and I don't want to think about that process of how it gets to my plate. So see your groups here, and then you're going to come out to a discussion board. You should be very, very familiar with the discussion board and how this works. You're going to find your group thread that's already been started. And once you find your group thread, you'll go ahead and create um, your post to go within um, this thread. So um, stay with your group continue to respond back and forth to each other. The easiest way to do this is probably gonna be to just hit reply, put your name, put your stance, talk about the article that you found, talk about your stance, hit reply, and then make sure that you're going back to respond to your peers. Notice that your responses do need to also match the stance that you've been um, the stance that you've been assigned. So if you're in favor of the ethical treatment of animals, you can certainly, with your group members that are also in favor, explain why you further support their um, their stance. But the students that are in opposition, ask some questions, have a conversation, give some debate with them. Make sure that it's healthy debate, but definitely have a conversation with them about that. So that's week 12. Week 13 is also going to open um, Saturday night going into Sunday. And I know some of you do like to work ahead. The only thing that I want to highlight here is there is another, um, another badge. Um, this time you're going to do your Know Your Advisor badge. So you're going to find this badge in the exact same place that you found your library badges. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either come up here to your My Blackboard. You can scroll down and find your My Commons, which is the organization where all of your badges live. And you'll notice over on the left-hand side, you can click Advising Badges. And the very first one that you're going to complete is that Know Your Advisor badge. The other way that you can find this is the exact same way that you found um, your library badges, which um, if that's the process that you're most familiar with, you'll go to the library page. Under services, you'll click on information literacy badges. That's going to take you back to that exact same place. And then over here on the left hand side, you'll see that link that says advising badges. Remember, I am currently out of town. This is the last day that I will have internet and cell service. We're heading um, up north further for a couple of days at my husband's parents' ranch that doesn't have internet and cell service. And then on our way back down, we're stopping at Winchester Lake for a few days for some camping. So I won't be home until Sunday night. You should have everything that you need, though, to be successful um, within your learning modules. But if you do run into problems, have any questions or concerns, always feel free to email me. If something doesn't work right, email me, attach the assignment to ensure that I give you credit for that um, 
assignment and then know that I will have email and internet access again Sunday night and I can respond and start working through that information as quick as possible. I hope you are all having a fantastic week. The last thing that I just want to let you know is um, remember that you should be checking your grades. This is the last week um, for you to have that opportunity, if you're not doing well in this class, to connect with your advisor and talk about some withdrawal opportunities. The last day to withdraw and take a W in this class is this Friday. So you want to make sure that if that's something that you need to do, go out, check your grades, see how you're doing. If you're not doing well, you might want to talk to your advisor about that and see if withdrawing is the best um, solution for you for this semester. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, we only have two weeks left after this, which is crazy. Um, next week, we'll talk more about your signature assignment and those recipe cards, and I will give you some parameters and some suggestions on how to create those.